We've had some ups and downs in this week of June as the warm air was around this weekend, but we were pulling out of that warmth and had a cool down there as we topped off with only a high temperature of 66 on Wednesday. But quickly into our Thursday, that warm environment was pulling in and that brought in some severe storms. And we are going to run it back here as we head into our Friday as a very similar setup to our Thursday where we have some of that warming sunshine, bringing some of that instability to fire up some of those strong to severe storms in the afternoon hours, where again, the potential even a few tornadoes, large hail, damaging wind gusts, and even noting that we have a very rich moisture field in place across especially the central plains, which could lead to some isolated areas of some flash flooding. Now behind the storm threat, we are talking that a warming and drying trend is going to work its way in. Might see some stray storms on Saturday for a very isolated region, but for the most part, it's going to be about a dry heat that moves in as we are going to talk about the warming temperatures to bring us towards those 90 for at least a few days for next week. Now here as we head our way into our Friday, though, we keep an eye on that storm threat. Morning hours might hold on to a little bit of a drizzle, fog, cloud cover, but we're going to see that there is that potential to break into some sunshine for the mid morning into the early afternoon. And then that early afternoon time frame is where we watch for those storms to develop quickly. And as that occurs, we are noting that the entire region falls underneath the threat for severe threat uh, weather. The Storm Prediction Center is noting that the environment is warm and primed for that potential to fire up storms that could carry that threat again for some severe weather. We'll note that again, here we are to start the day off. There is this nice moisture plume in place and that keeps us with some gray skies. So that might limit some of the severe potential. So that will be one factor to keep in mind. But we see that the clouds try to break apart there and that quickly creates that instability. And there's those storms and a bit more widespread all the way from Denver up all along I-25 in areas of Wyoming. Will that severe threat will push through? And then behind that storm threat, we finally see that a high pressure system is going to move in and dry those conditions out. But before we dry out again, that nice moisture plume is in place and we see that there is some highlighted areas there into Nebraska that show that even over a half an inch of accumulation could be possible. Even Torrington, Lusk and Douglas give off that potential as well. So a little bit more developmental area here is off towards our far west and then it pushes in and moves into that rich environment, carrying that severe potential as we typically see with our storm. So Friday again, last day of a widespread severe storm potential with seasonable temperatures. Saturday is our first day of that dry heat building in as we will with, be with above normal temperatures. Stray chance for storms there for Laramie and Cheyenne, but then we are working into that warm sunshine that will allow for a few days to top off into those 90s. And then we are noting that our next best chance for some storms will arrive on Wednesday, which does allow for those temperatures to stray away from the 90s.